Well, where the most profound work lies in this grace-drenched journey is not in the phase of opening when the mind is saying how perfect everything is and there is all this flow of gratitude but it is in fact when everything is going contrary to the mind's desire system This is actually the deepest offering and it is really where all the work happens. These beautiful openings, the ever deepening taste is the byproduct of the phase that is the working phase. And what the working phase is, is the process of humbling. The road into this beauty lies in humbling every position and belief. Which come up in an aggressive way when things are going in opposition to the conditioned desire system. A mistake that often occurs at this time is this inherent belief that it is the mind that is supposed to give way. That it is the mind that should humble. But the mind is a program, and you cannot be freed of the program if it does not come up. And the only time there is the potential for any stickiness is when conditioned mind is dissatisfied. And it is not when conditioned mind is dissatisfied for all of a sudden conditioned mind to become satisfied. It is the process of humbling the relationship with mind. It is the phase that really does the freeing. When from the conditioned mind's perspective, everything is going wrong. The story is I have lost connection. My body is in suffering. Whatever it may be. This phase is not the problem phase. It is the active phase. It is not possible to be freed from conditioned mind without this peace. It is in fact the peace that is prayed for in the opening phase to be freed. And then the things that one is bound to when they come up, there is a story that something is wrong when all that has actually occurred is there has been an answering to your prayers.
and it is not falling into mind spin that I am failing. It is watching the mechanics of the mind at play. Receiving includes receiving the mind. Not changing the mind, not changing the sensations of the body, but receiving it. It is the phase that erodes the shell. It is true that for most, this phase in the play of time is experienced as happening over a greater part of the time. Because the prayer is to be freed. And you cannot be freed if it does not come up. What must come up, every tendency and habit must come up, or you cannot be freed. The suffering has to do with aligning who I am with the mind. That's all. aligning who I am with the body. And that out of that alignment, there's a conditioned attempt to get away from, and the story of failing. A repetitive cycle that cycles around again and again, It is this aspect of the cycle that humbles. It's what transforms you from something hard and defended into something soft and malleable. It is what humbles you from a wanting, desiring machine into the readiness to receive the grace, no matter how it may seem. It is building both a humility and a strength. And the strength lies in the conviction of not touching the mind's story. It becomes so obvious after a certain point, it is just a repetition of the same old thing that cycles around endlessly. Its limitations become so obvious. there begins to be the seeing that what was perceived to be the repetitive issue is in fact the doorway. The possibility to receive that the experience of what is called the burn is the answer to the prayer. And then there is the flavor of such incredible nectar in the humbling process. Eventually that nectar is tasted throughout the whole span of what was once called to be the burning phase. It does not mean that it is not burning from the mind-body's perspective. But at the same time, there is the receiving of the beauty and the gratitude that does not disappear. And thus the suffering is gone. 
when this occurs, the flavor of burning does not decrease, it increases. It increases to a point that when there was the habit of identification, it would have pushed you beyond an ability that you have. But there is no suffering. Yet there is the challenge. But the difference is you would not have it any other way. The truth is, you would not have it any other way anyway. There's just alignment when this happens for many with the conditioned mind that spins a story that I would like it to be a different way. And in that, the result is suffering. What is grace? Grace is every single thing. When the grace of it is not felt, that is the litmus test that it is the deeper offering. The whole show is tailor-constructed for you. It is your dream. It is reflecting the elements that created forgetting for you. In it is the remedy that is the door into what you have been seeking your whole life. Most everyone in this room knows this through and through. Yet the tendency to align with mind during the process when it holds the potential to be humbled is so great. And this is where the window of free will lives, not in what the mind is doing, not in the circumstances that are appearing, but in the intention, the intention to receive the grace, as opposed to falling prey and experiencing myself as a victim. Every moment of your existence, your prayers are being offered. You are receiving the offering of your own prayers. It is moving through a higher wisdom. Humility lies in not letting go of the truth that is already known within. Holding on to the truth that is already known within. When there is the grace of the active phase, meaning that in the play, 
things are going in opposition to what is conditioned. At these times, it is not the greatest service to try to get to the feeling of what is called the eternal now. Because if it is being driven by trying to get away from, in fact, it is being driven by the ego. When what is happening is the active face, the possibility is to receive the offering from the heart of eternity, from that which welcomes everything the same. And then there is the recognition that it's all only now anyway. But as opposed to the taste being something that is often called equanimity, but has a flatness to it. If it has a flatness to it, it is a getting away from if it is infused with this life and this love and this beauty, then it is not something that was achieved by getting to something. when there is no burning, playing, it is self-evident because it is the nature of existence. It can be helpful to have this self-reminding mechanism because distraction is habitual. But at these times, it is not a running away from anything. It is just the letting go of conditioned desires. And feeling yourself. There is this perfect rhythm, this oscillation from receiving the grace of the teaching, the active phase of humbling, receiving the conditioned mind when it is active in recognition of from where it is coming. And then there is self-reminding when there is nothing that is actively burning. And just the remembering of letting go of the habits that have the tendency to distract attention. Thank you all for satsang. <clears throat> it is completely impossible for anything to appear.
fear in the life that is not being tailor constructed out of the answer to your prayer. Your reality could not be more simple. 